Hey guys, today I'm making these little skirts. And this little scarf for the pets. And then I'll also show you how I made this super easy little headband. Always ask a parent for help before starting any craft. And for this project, you'll need First, cut out a section of your craft home paper. Here I'm using the thinner um, glitter paper, but you can also use the regular craft home paper. Then using the smallest setting on your hole punch, punch holes along the top. If you don't have a small hole punch, you could just use a mechanical pencil or a toothpick to gradually make your holes. You can fold over your craft home paper to help start to give it shape. like you could even weigh it down for a minute or two Then cut a loom band or elastic and begin weaving it through with one piece you want your pieces that start and finish to be on the inside of your skirt so holding on to that end and then just weaving my rubber band or elastic through So you want your final piece to end on the inside. If you have an extra hole, you can just cut it off, that's fine. Then tie. So I'm just laying down a pencil so I can do my double knot here without it getting away from me. Make sure your rubber band is nice and tight. You can trim off the ends. And then begin shaping your skirt. So I don't want these sharp edges here. I'm just going to curve it. In fact, curve my skirt and just kind of go up and down to give it shape. And again, curving my other side. Place on my pet and you are good to go. And if you really want to exaggerate your creases, you can take your, a little bit of super glue and just glue it on the inside where the fabric has cinched up. So in these little sections here, you can glue a little bit of super glue and pinch it together. And here I just used regular craft foam paper and then I just added little cuts. And here I've just added little craft foam circles. And then to make these little headbands and her little anklet, just weaving beads through your elastic or your loom band, tying it off to make a little necklace, and instead just wrapping it around her ears. And for the little anklet, I just made a super tiny one. And finally, to make the scarf, just cut out a strip of your craft foam paper, line it up over your pet comfortably around the neck, take your mechanical pencil, and poke a hole through both. And on this glitter paper, it's a lot harder to see. As I can see here, it's right here. Then glue a bead. Use your super glue or hot glue to glue a bead on that mark. You want to allow plenty of time for it to dry. And then where you've made your other hole, you can continue to make it bigger with your mechanical pencil or use one of the smaller settings. So here I have the third smallest setting multi-hole punch to make that hole. The goal is to create a hole that's about the same size as your bead. You don't want it too big because it'll slip off and if it's too small then it will continue to tear as it goes on and it might even yank your bead off. So it's best to start small and then you can expand your hole as needed to ensure that it will fit. Once your hole is the right size, place on your pet and push in place. An easy little scarf for your pet. Well guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks guys! Hmm. I don't think so.
they're cute, but I much prefer butt hang out. Yes, it's time for the special shout outs. First is Kira the Joker. Thank you. Then we have Lily Bananas and Betty Moko and Caden Stevenson. So thank you. And then there is Seth Attain. Thank you. And there's LPS Dream. And uh, finally, there's LPS Freezer. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone.